Breaking tonight at 6, Charlotte City leaders in Texas tonight to talk business with the Republican National Committee officials. Just 24 hours ago, the committee voted unanimously to bring the RNC to the Queen City in 2020. Now, the only thing left to do is to wait for that official vote, which is set for tomorrow. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton live in Austin tonight. And Xavier, you've been in touch with city leaders all day. What are they saying to you? Well, Brooke, I'll tell you what, they do have a closed door meeting uh, here tonight here at this hotel just behind me right at 7 o'clock. But before then, they do have a, a Facebook Live hosted by Councilman Tarek Bakari. That's starting at 515. And he's going to have Ron Kaufman. He is the chair of that site selection committee. He's going to be on there as well as Doug Lebda, the CEO of Lending Tree. So they've been here just for a couple of hours. And as you can see, they're already getting to work. It was a little bit like waiting on the smoke signals from the Vatican. The formal wait continues as Charlotte is on the verge of officially hosting the RNC in 2020. Several city leaders are now in Austin finalizing last minute details. These agreements are very complex and as you can imagine have a number of parties involved and so we really just want to make sure everything's buttoned up. For July 19th, 2018. The RNC summer meeting is moving forward. Mayor Bile Isles, who has been backing the bid, being one of the more vocal city leaders during this process, was praised by Jonathan Barnett, one of the site selection committee members that voted. High compliments for your mayor. She's uh, really uh, represents your city well. Uh, she's a real compliment to your community, and she's treated us with all the decency and respect that we could ever ever asked for. While all eyes are on Austin, ears have been ringing in Charlotte. The Hornets president, Fred Whitfield, discussing the RNC at Spectrum Center in 2020. So we're looking forward to 2020 the same way we were looking forward to 2012. And honestly, I don't think we get the RNC had we not done a great job as a community hosting the DNC. As we look back at 2012, when there was an economic impact of more than $163 million, some believe 2020 will be just as lucrative. CIAA on average is about 50 million in economic okay. impact, and so um, that is typically our largest annual event in Charlotte, and so yes, it would be roughly three CIAAs. And at the end of that story there, that was Laura White from the CRVA, and she really did put it into perspective, uh, CIAA being the largest event, and this could be three times that. Uh, but certainly, uh, we're all going to be waiting here. I'm going to be following every development, and I'm going to go inside here and uh, check in on that Facebook Live here in just a few minutes. Reporting live in Austin, Xavier Walton, NBC Charlotte. A major event for sure. Xavier, thank you. And from Austin to the Queen City, we have this story covered for you. Check for the latest both on air, online, as well as inside the NBC Charlotte mobile app.